connections than any prize in other. Yeah. Oh, welcome back to uh, the Last Kingdom podcast, episode two. <laughs> I think one of the funniest days it was last season, though, was when uh, we were really stressed in fight week, and I think it was like it was episode five or six with John, John East, mm-hmm, directed mm-hmm. it. And it's just before Edward comes in and charges with the horses and the men. And I think you, they were doing a over the shoulder shot of yourself. And they had uh, another shot on us and we didn't know what size the lens was. So we didn't know what the coverage was. And everyone was really stressed. We only had, what, maybe, what, it was the last couple of shots of the day. That fight we shot in the snow. Oh, yeah, the forest yeah. or in we, the snow? We oh, no, no, yeah. no, in the snow. And we didn't know what was happening. Right. And then we were just like, what? What, what, what's actually going on? What, what are we doing? And then we started pretend fighting. I don't know if you know this. Yeah. So we ended up taking our swords and we thought they were really close in on us. So we were pretending we were fighting people, being like, ah! There's no people. And it was a wide shot. And so we're just like, <laughs> doing this. <laughs> and there's no one there. And we're and charging then, towards the cameras. And then, yeah, we charged past the cameras and then we made it even worse because remember, we're going up to the extras and we were like slashing their legs and they were getting confused and just falling down. You must have killed about 20 of them, they're just like, ah! And it was a wife! It was a wife! Yeah, it ruined it. it. Yeah. Absolutely ruined the shot. And meanwhile, they were on my close up. They were on your. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were on your, yeah, they were on your close up. Wait, was it his close up or was it an action up. sequence when he does the flying, all the things? Yeah, because you've done the, like a flying thing and then you're rolling the ground and then you go up and then we don't know. Oh, what that happened. one shot that we only yes. had. One single take on. Yes, because we're two. losing the crane. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The one something where, where crazy. I, I going, basically yeah. had had one go to rehearse it, and then we had yes, to shoot it. Yes, yes. Yeah. And while I did that, you guys were we're slashing yeah, invisible people. people. We're yeah. slashing yeah. invisible people. We're slashing people. invisible people. <laughs> and it was so funny at the end of it. Like we're like, oh my god, <laughs> it was so fun, especially because we tried not to laugh because the extras were just falling. No, because we like, what we did, we turned away from the camera at each other. What are we doing? Because <laughs> we're not facing the camera, so then we can guide each other. Like, what are we? What are we? What are we doing? <laughs> like, kill more people, slash that way, and we just directed each other which That's way to go insane. and look bad. Oh, everything's so organized to a T. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. What would you stress? How do you deal with stress? Like, if you're how do you deal last... with stress? Yeah, like on set. On set. Hmm. Um... Because one thing I was going to ask you, I just put a few things down that I was like, in terms of like, do you find it emotionally draining when you're doing a scene where you actually have to be quite upset? I find it. I find it the most draining when I have to play an angry scene. Do you? Yeah. Really? How yeah. long can you do it for? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, do you know, is there a point where you're like... Well, I guess you just have to do it for as long as you have to do, do it. it. But at the end of, a, of a, a scene where I need to be angry, I go home and I'm just... Done. I'm done, yeah. Just mm. emotionally drained. Mm. And physically, I guess, yeah. 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 I always you're, remember that... Uh, oh, sorry. I saw... I just wanted to compliment you, because... Uh, Never really seen you stressed. I mean, there are a lot of moments that yeah, should be stressful, but mood. you're like, I feel like <laughs> yeah. your coping mechanism with stress is just ideas. It's good. It's just yeah, ideas. Exactly. If, if in doubt, if stressed, ideas. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Can we can we explain the idea machine? Oh yeah. Cool. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Thank so yeah. so Mark is the person who has the most ideas in the world, and you come up with an idea per what? Like, so, t- tens or no? That we that? we said we we've established recently that. Mark, in the morning, he has like a warm-up period, so he needs to drop out 10 ideas that not necessarily are going to land, but they're going to be great ideas. And by the 11th, it like things start coming up, and we start really using those ideas. So yeah. a lot of the show is so actually... So the great nice. thing is that, that there's no ego involved. So <laughs> yeah. you'll come up with ideas, and we'll be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, no. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but then... But then, as Arna said, like every 10th, 11th idea is actually really good and we use it. I feel as if that's better because last year was like 30. No, but yeah, we, used to, like, we, used to, last year. we used to have, but, do you remember we used to have like the idea tree? Like yeah. it was a physical tree and we'd take uh, imaginary a- apples idea of apples of it and chew them. And so at the end of the, the first season that we worked together, you gave me a little notebook as a, as a rap gift. Oh, and yeah, your yeah. quote at the beginning was, 
the, it was the book of ideas, <laughs> and the quote at the beginning was, the best way to have a good idea is to have a lot of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's genius. <laughs> that's true. That that's, pick. It took me... That pick the apple. Yeah, but it took like me three years to apple. really understand your process and to like, oh, wait, he's actually right. I yeah. don't need to understand his process because no, no, he's not always process, with us. But we, yeah. we don't need to have original ideas because he has them for us. That is also true. We will never be able to have as many as, uh, ideas as Which kind of also sometimes makes me a bit lazy because I'm like, right, what should I do with this? He's like, ah, oh, just turn up. Mark will have an idea. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I'm like, Mark, I need an idea. Uh, and then I've got like a little platter of ideas in front of me and I can go hmm, maybe I'll take this one. It just slaps the steak of an idea it's like oh that's a bit raw I think it's really nice though like we can we can do that yeah. on set and we can just we riff off we'll riff off of each other like mm. someone will come up with something then you'll come up with something and then we'll just share well, and yeah. actually it's like what you said the other day and I think that's a beautiful thing of the reflective mirror like when you're working with each other well that you, we're yeah, each other's Mirrors, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't yeah. get there's a lot of sets that I've worked on, and if you give a suggestion to someone, or if someone gives a suggestion to you, sometimes people take that. Really. Most, yeah, but, but most of the time, you never feel comfortable enough to, to make a suggestion to somebody. That, I mean, yeah. to another actor, it really takes a lot of trust to, to be yeah. able to say, "Dude, what about if you do it that way?" You know, totally. I actually really appreciate that yeah, when people say same, that to me because yeah. why wouldn't you? You know. Yeah one more way to do it and at the end it looks like it was your idea nobody's gonna yeah. know who gave you that idea you know yeah, that's true. and it's but, nice when but in our job that we can do that like you know sure yeah like it's well, just like, like you said earlier thing. that's like that that there's no ego involved yeah and usually i mean acting in general i think is a very it's a fine line of having too much oh, ego. because it's such a vulnerable process true and and i think i think you you can do your best work when you're willing to be truly vulnerable, but you really have to put yourself on the line and, and, and be willing to look like a fool in order to get to that place. Yeah. And it's so much easier to do that if you work with, mm. you know, with your best friends. I like yeah. that. I like recently noticed also, again, coming back to Mark, that sometimes, I can't remember what was the scene. I think it was one of the scenes in the forest with uh, Heston or whatever. And even before shooting that, you were talking about the scene and how it should it what should happen and Mark wasn't really like taking part much in that scene but you were like here like what if I have an idea and it was just you know a suggestion just to drop it maybe maybe it's gonna land maybe people are gonna like it maybe they'll say like no no sorry but you don't have that like you just try it yeah sometimes yeah. it lands sometimes you what LeBron said it you miss or somebody said it you miss a hundred percent of shots you don't take <laughs> That's true. ideas same with ideas it's nice how you were saying about the emotional thing though and putting making yourself vulnerable because I remember um, season three right at the end mm -hmm. and it was when you lost Gisela mm -hmm. at the beginning season three oh sh was that yes. the beginning of season yeah, three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my brain's fried um, yeah and I remember that day and it was just so beautiful and it's it's putting yourself out there and maybe I'd, like People when they watch the show, they don't realise that um, you have to put yourself on the line and you have to dig in deep into your soul, you know, as an actor, you as a person. Put yourself and in that dark place. Yeah, yeah. totally. And uh, you were doing mm. that for about forty minutes, and I was watching you, it was, and that was hard. Do you know you, you're really delving deep into yourself? And I remember, I can I can see it right now. You know, just exploring those feelings. And I'm getting thing with just thinking about it. Yeah, no, but I know. See that. Yeah, oh, <laughs> but, wow. but really, but it, it's what you said, and it's so important. And I th that's what I think people don't realise is you have to find that within yourself mm. and use it. And so mm. it's really beautiful when you work with people and they do go to that place. But see, the, the the thing about it is that you can get to those places. It's so much easier to get to those places when you when you can have a true connection with somebody, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And so when I when I work with you guys. I don't, um, I can use that connection to get there, you know, I don't have yeah. to substitute anything. Mm -hmm. I don't have to imagine that I'm speaking to, you know, I don't know, my, my, my cousin or my mom yeah. or, you know, whoever I can, I can just talk to you because, mm -hmm. because we have that close relationship mm -hmm. and, and, and same with, uh, with Gisela who's played by, by Perry, you know, I, I knew that I was supported in, 
just thinking of her in that yeah. endeavor and and so I could just be right there in the moment I didn't have to mm. think about anything else and and that's that's I think the beauty of this show and and you know when you're asking about set life I think set life is is true connection between people and and true respect and I think that's that's what this show really has going for it and mm. what I think is quite rare because I, as you said I've been on a lot of sets where it's not like that and and we've created that you know Aww. all mm. of us huh? it's true it's true yeah. it is true i mean I'm proud of that yeah, i'm very i'm very very happy about that and i feel like as soon as we leave this like we come on set and you know supposed to like do your job back but we're like just like as you said we're like so so close like, when we finish this i'm like i uh, where yeah. are my friends where are they i think that's what it is so uh, because our family and friends are elsewhere so we're filming in a completely different country. It's like we're our own family, mm. in a way. And I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, oh my heavens, like, this is Oh yeah, such if my an family were scene. here, I wouldn't give a shit about you. <laughs> 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 sorry, I can't do it. That's fine, right, sorry. That's fine. Right. Right. That's fine. That's fine. Bye, it's such an intense, like, you go on such an intense journey with each other. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it feels as if, like, we. We know each other so well. Mm, mm, mm. And maybe it's because we're, and then we're opening ourselves up to each other as well. The vulnerable parts and whatever. Yeah. But you don't do that with anyone else, really. What moments do you ever reflect and go, oh my God, I have an amazing job? What, what has happened this That happens quite time? often. That's really? very often. That's very, yeah. very often. Just... Well, what, what would you say, like, what, what moments in specific, like specifically? Well, I can tell you when it's not the case. It's right. That'd when, be interesting. When we get up yes. in the morning. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. When the alarm rings at four thirty in the morning, I'm not <laughs> thinking that. <laughs> Apart from that, I'm thinking it most of the time. What time do you get home at at night? Depends. S Depends. S like seven half thirty. Half seven thirty. Yeah. See, most yeah. people don't know that. Eight. Yeah. Because we, eight. Honest and myself, had a theory that we're getting to the end of the six months now. Is it six or seven months we've been doing this? Seven, I think. Seven. Yeah. And it's, it is, people are starting to get a bit tired now. And you're here every day. Yeah, it's like we're, we're tired. We're not even in it we're constantly. Not, yeah, we're you're already training. Time. And we were talking about you having these battery packs yeah. somehow. I just, have. I just, it's <coughs> not a secret. It's just, you just got to try to get as much sleep as you can. And that's, that's so when you get home like 8 p.m., you, you have something to eat and you, then. you make I cook I cook on the weekends I cook ahead for the week so I can just warm something up or do something fast like a salad or something um, so I shower eat and go to bed or eat shower go to bed I don't know I kind of switch it up <laughs> keep myself <laughs> keep myself gonna go crazy tonight. <laughs> yeah. just gonna shower and cook at the same time <laughs> that, that, I actually do that well yeah when I'm <laughs> pasta I, I put on the, the, the water then I shower then, um, then I uh, then I put the pasta in. Oh. Then I get dressed. And then I eat. Okay. And then I go to sleep. Well, when do you pack all the things for the rest of the week, or is it just in a in a bowl? We can. No, it's just like in a big. Like I do a lot of vegetables. Okay. And then I just uh, I just uh, make some quinoa or something. But you can't keep the vegetables the entire week in the fridge if they're cut up. Yeah, you can. You can. I no, thought no, that's... but I cook them first. Yeah. I, I ah, cook them. Okay. I cook them cool. just a little like... bit. Okay. So they're still like so they're starting to be cooked, but they're still crunchy. So that when I enough. heat them up with the quinoa, Oof, this it's, guy. It's, yeah. I've just realized I know where you get your energy from or how it works now. Um, Alex eats a lot. Would you say you can, you can pack away your food? And I'm always like, how the hell are you not fat? But it's actually because you need so much energy. Because you're up at half four in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, and then you're not getting to bed till later on at night. I felt like the, coming back to the question of like appreciating, I felt... This is gonna come out after the show. So when we were hanging upside down, remember those days? I'm like, oh, I love this. <laughs> like for two days we're hanging upside down a tree. This is our job. <laughs> this is our job. And I, I love it. It's just I feel yeah. like the, the the most weirdest times we have on set. I really started like, what? Is, what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> love this. When we're in the tank or the the the. Going to Bebenberg and f filming the the water stuff. Yeah, that was, yeah, great. That was, that was great. We're in a, we're in a massive water tank. Fake stuff. Fake fake waves. Rain machine. There's actually a shower. And oh, like, that's right. They had the they had that big um, tractor thing. Yeah. 
big tractor that had made that. Made the waves. Yeah, made the waves. Still in right. yeah. Yeah. And I was like, we're standing on that boat. I'm like, I love this. This yeah. is our job. I thought it was really cool that scene because you felt as if you weren't actually acting. Like you were kind of terrified at the same time. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like, oh my God, the rain and, you know, people potentially falling in. Like, yeah, literally. that's quite, yeah, literally, it's quite scary. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what was a really nice moment that I, I thought of? When we were doing, I don't know what episode it was, it was either one or two, and we were on the ship, and we were coming back. We were, I, I, I we were in the actual lake, we were in the yeah, actual we're lake, in the lake. Mm-hmm. We, with, uh, with Ian, and we were, I think we were having the last shots of the day, the sun yeah. was really setting. Oh, the sun yeah, was yeah, coming yeah, down, yeah, it was remember, just beautiful, yeah. and we were just like, we're bailing the wow. ship because it's, uh, there's holes in it. Yeah. We've seen so many amazing sunsets, and, yeah. and just from parts of the... Parts of Hungary that you would never see oh, otherwise. Yeah. I mean, just even even the pickup in the mornings, like in the oh, beginning, yeah. depending on the seas. Like, Beautiful, yeah. So you go to work straight in, in, into the into the sunrise. Are we? And then when we're going back at um, when we're doing night shoots, I'm sure it was this year. Yeah. We're doing night shoots and we're going back, and then we'd see the sun coming up. Yeah. Mm. And we'd all have our glasses on, so it was like polarized, and it made it even more intense. And you're like, oh wow. Not yeah. sure about that, but. but <laughs> 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 Thank you for tuning in to the Last Kingdom podcast. <laughs>